Hey guys, good morning. It's 7 a.m. in the morning, going for a walk, just to reflect a little bit of the day of yesterday. Here is Turkey. Here is the refugee camp. This is Lesbos. And right there is our hotel. Everybody's still sleeping. It was really, really impressive how the story of Eshan and Shaida can be an impact on so many people that all have their own stories in their life. And um, it makes you reflect differently. It makes you put your own life in a different perspective and it makes it all better in the end. The connections, all because of volleyball, the changes, is really beautiful to experience. And this is just day one. Let's go to the next day, enjoy. It's a brand new day here in Lesbos. Yesterday we got our ass kicked at the kickbox class. And My legs were screaming, screaming. A two and a half hour kickboxing class. <laughs> like, oh, it's crazy. My body definitely feels it now, 100%. <laughs> today is a special day because we're doing a big tournament with, with a lot of teams, with a lot of people, and we're cooking. Um, Eshan and Shada preparing a big meal. Of course, we're helping with the whole process and we have some prizes as well. It's gonna be a great new day here. For how many people are we cooking? I think about uh, 40. 40 people. 40 people. Two hours the tournament starts and um, we're gonna do some shopping to buy a prize for the champion of the tournament. What should we put on the cup in terms of price? We could do that football flying championship cup. I like it. Examples where people live in camp and are so depressed and if they play sports they're such different people it's amazing to do well how yeah, sports can change people's lives so we're sitting here with Marianne she's in the social care team coordinator in the refugee camps I can give one example of a guy who lived in a ruffle with I think 58 other people was using drugs was using a lot of alcohol and then he started playing sports I was here I saw him the first time and he was down like down to the ground and when he plays sports, he got to know the good friends, uh, the good people, and the atmosphere was bringing him out of the drugs, out of the alcohol, and his motivation to be here every day and to play sports was, it was just so awesome to see. Yogan Sport with Refugees Gym. It's a very special location where the refugees can come, play sports, have food, and build a community. And um, we have to step up, right? Yeah, because if we don't, uh, they're going to shut this place down. They need help, they need funds. Because in this place, where we went in, we did a kickboxing class, we sweat. But it's a place for people to gather and stay in shape and stay healthy. It's, you know, it's community. And uh, it's important that you guys, you know, 
get involved and, and want to help and donate because these are important people just like the rest of us. People from different nationalities that, that break each other's head in the tents in the camp. Here they're playing sports together and celebrating their win. It's a crazy experience. I mean, it doesn't matter what walk of life you come from, what country you come from, what language you speak, no matter the color of your skin, no matter what you believe in, your faith, sport brings everybody together. These people out here are doing a lot of things to keep everybody together and keep their hope alive so that when it is time for them to have a chance to move on with their lives, they have something to look forward to. And it's incredible to be a part of something like that. And it, it comes from here. It comes from here. Eshan and Shaira just gave food to everybody and we're sitting here and it's just, the atmosphere is so powerful, so happy to be part of this. Today is finished guys, it was great, see you tomorrow.